Hello, I'm Stefan Lukic. I'm one of the founders of Civils AI. And in this video, this quick demo today, I'm going to be showing you three things. Number one is how you can extract data from your PDF, borehole logs, and site investigation reports automatically and extract it onto your own private map. Number two is how you can download VGS boreholes as AGS files and Excel files. And number three is visualization tools. So understanding how you can use some of our simplified 3D modeling and 2D section tools in order to understand your site and your project better. So after you've got logged into Sybil's AI, you'll see uh, we load up a big map of the world. And the way you add data, borehole data, to your own private map is with this borehole digitizer tool. From here, you can actually drag and drop entire PDF geotechnical reports. It can be hundreds of pages long, and we'll extract the data from those reports, things like the borehole uh, geological description names, layer thicknesses, test data, water level, ground level, a lot more data than I just mentioned. And you can also upload AGS data here to view it in uh, alongside the PDF data. You can open the data tab, and from here, you'll see your file is processing away. It takes around 10 minutes for us to extract all of the data. And uh, you can see below the different boreholes, which I've already processed. And from this point, you can download all of that uh, digital uh, equivalent of the data as Excel files or AGS files, or even combine them into uh, a single AGS and Excel file. I can also view the borehole data by clicking on the logs on the map. And from this point, you can see a little 3D visualization of the data. And here we take the descriptions. We've extracted the descriptions, the tops and the bottoms of the layers, you can click this key data tab. And from here, you'll be able to see all of the test data that we've pulled out, things like the SBT counts in this case, and the RQDs. And we also uh, putting together some resources for estimating and creating some correlations using some uh, uh, empirical methods. Uh, so here you can find some approximate design parameters using different methods on all of the test data and the information that we've managed to pull out from the log. The next thing that people use us for and that we're pretty good at is collecting uh, BGS boreholes. So um, we pre-digitized a lot of BGS boreholes as AGS files and Excel files. And the way you request to download those is by selecting this tool, request public data, and you draw an area. Once you've drawn this area, you'll download or pull those uh, boreholes into your private map space. So you can sit alongside your own private data You can pull in the public data as well. And last but not least is the most fun part, which is the visualization. So we have two different tools here for visualizing. I'll show you the 3D model one first. You can set your 3D model diameter with this slider down here, uh, however big you want your model, and then simply bring your cursor over to where your boreholes are and click. And what we'll do is we'll generate an approximate uh, visualization of an approximate 3D simplified model of the geology. The way this is generated automatically is through reading the descriptions in the different logs nearby and giving you some initial grouping, which you can then update and customize however you need to and regenerate this model in real time. Uh, we have a summary here of all the different uh, layers in the area. You can turn them on and off and isolate the layers by clicking them. You can turn on these dimensions and see, for example, here how the rock head level changes across this site. I can turn on the map and then sort of view this in comparison. So wherever my site is, I can see the borehole numbers and uh, figure out where the rock is on this project. Uh, you can also drop a virtual borehole um, by clicking this button. And with this, I can essentially explore the site by clicking on the map and you'll see in the 3D, uh, this virtual borehole will move around the site and do some extrapolation on the data. So it's a way of exploring the geology on the site really efficiently. Um, you can turn on and off the topography with this button. So you, you can see the ground level now is being modeled and you can update this with the button, uh, with the, this input over here. You'll see I just I've changed the model. And then I can also look at the ground level, uh, sorry, the groundwater level. So how that varies across the site. And next for cutting sections. So I can select this 2D section cutting tool and click two points on the map and we'll generate a, an approximate 2D section for you. Again, using the same approach of reading the descriptions to try and give you some initial estimates of what the layers could be. And then you can update these, change the ground level, uh, whatever you need to do to update your 2D section. You can turn on and off the boreholes using the different buttons over here. And I can edit my offset distance. Let's say I want to capture more of these. I can actually widen this or narrow it, and this will update the model. 
Um, in terms of the data presented, we'll capture things like the borehole, uh, borehole name, the distance from the, the section cut line, ground level, all of the test data. And from this point, you can download this as a PDF or a DXF file, which you can then customize yourself.